Hello everyone. Welcome to my new programming club. Today we will be solving another daily read code problem. And the problem's name is Unique number occurrences. Unique number of occurrences. So the challenge statement goes like this. Given an array of integers return true if the number of occurrences of each value in the array is unique or false otherwise uh, what the problem statement mean by this is let's say we take this example okay so what are the frequencies of numbers here let this be number and let this be the frequency of the number so one is occurring three times two twice and three only once okay so these should be unique there should be no repetitions in them so let's say th three was occurring twice here instead of once so as you can see the uh, number two is repeated in the frequencies so the frequency distribution should be unique uh, what we understand by this is the frequency distribution should be unique okay so that's all what we have to check uh, let's have a look at the constants also length of the array is from 1 to 1000 and it's ranging from minus 1000 uh, elements are ranging from minus 1000 to plus 1000 okay so let's see how will we we will be solving this particular problem so what we can do is that first of all we will form a map of number and frequency let's call this frequency map okay so here if let's say we are choosing c++ as our preference preferred language in which we will be doing the implementation for this video so we will be using an ordered map it is equivalent to hash map in java okay so once you are having your frequency map then you will use one another data structure that will be a unique frequency set unique frequency set in c++ it can be unordered set in java it will be has set only okay so if some frequency is already present while you are adding frequencies in this unique frequency set then you will return false when you will return false when you are populating this set and you encounter a duplicate then you will return true or then you will return false sorry
false otherwise you will be returning true okay else you will be returning true so this is the uh, method or say way that we will be using to solve this problem now let's have a look at the implementation so this is the implementation first of all you will be building a frequency map or you can say number frequency map okay so once you are having your number frequency map uh let me write also uh, map of numbers versus their frequencies in the given array okay then you will be populating unique frequency set and if you encounter some duplicate frequency then you will return true false else you will be returning true from your function okay so that's how we will be solving this particular problem if you are still having any doubts or any queries in general feel free to use the comment section in the video thank you for watching have a great day ahead